This tutorial will focus on sequences and lists in VizPro. Lists of values are used for handling multiple input at the same time. Understanding lists and sequences of values is crucial for understanding how Viz handles complex calculations. There are three types of lists in Viz, and these are found in the Sequence category. In an empty SketchUp file, open the Viz window. We'll start with the Series node, which produces a list of evenly separated numbers. M is the minimum value, the first number in the list, which is set to 0. N is the number of values in the list which is set to 10. S is the step value, the mathematical difference between each number. This value is 0.1. The list can be viewed by connecting a preview node to the series output. There are 10 total numbers in the list, starting with 0, each number 0.1 greater than the number before. The last value in the series depends on the step and the number of values. For each value in this list, the number between square brackets is the value's index. Usually the index is zero based, meaning that the index of the first number is zero, the index of the second number is one, and so on. If the m value changes to 3.5 and the step changes to 0.5, the values update accordingly. The index for each value remains constant. The numbers between curly brackets are for multidimensional lists which will be covered in a later tutorial. The next type of list is range, which creates a list of values between a specific minimum and maximum. The domain is where the range is set, in this case between 0 and 1. The number sets the total number of values in the list, in this case 10. Connecting a preview to the output, we see that the resulting list has 10 values between 0 and 1 each separated by about 0.111. Changing the number to 11 updates the list so that each value is separated by 0.1. The third type of list comes from the random node. Connect a preview to the output. The domain is the same as before, 0 to 1, and the number of values is 10. The seed value is what creates the randomness. If you change this value to any other integer, an entirely new list is generated. Note that identical seed values produce identical lists, so if you have two random lists, be sure to assign each one a different seed value. When lists are used as input, the node operation is applied multiple times, depending on the size of the list. Start a new file in Viz, or just erase all nodes in the current file. Add a range node to create a list of 11 numbers, ranging from 0 to 1. Connect a preview to see the list. To apply these values to physical geometry, choose point, point. Connect the range output to the x value of the points. Connect another preview to see the coordinates of each point. The x values match the values from the range node. The y and z values don't have lists. These have single values currently set to zero. Adding a point sync makes this easy to see in SketchUp. Now let's see what happens when a node receives lists of different sizes. Erase all existing nodes. Add a range node and a point node. Add a range preview and connect the range output to the point x value. Leave the list of values as the defaults. There are 10 values. Add a second range node with a preview and connect its output to the point y values. Reduce the number of values to 5. Now each value has a step of 0.25. Now connect a preview to the point output The number of points is 10, which is the number of the longest list, the list from the first range node. The x values follow the step values from this node. The y coordinates come from the second range node. The first five coordinates follow the y step values, and after that, the last value is repeated. This is how Viz handles lists of different sizes. Next, we'll see how to match lists. 
In an empty viz window, create two range nodes with previews and add two point nodes. Connect each range node to each point x value. The first set of points will have y coordinates of 0, and the second will have y coordinates of 0 0.2. The first range node should keep the default values from 0 to 1 with 10 values. For the second range node, change the number to 5. To keep the relative values consistent, the domain should match the first five points from the first range. The fifth value here is 0 0.444, so we'll make the second node range from 0 to 0 0.444. Now add a match short node found in the list category. This node receives two lists as input and shortens the longer list to match the shorter one. There are two outputs, the first list of points and the second, and both now have the same number of points. To see this more clearly, add a primitive line node. Connect the first set of points to A and the second to B. The first five points get lines. The rest aren't on the list any longer. Now erase the match short node and replace it with a match long. Reconnect the lists and reconnect to make the lines. There are now 10 lines matching the number of values in the longer list. The lines all start at a point from the first line, but for the endpoints, there are only five values. So the last endpoint is repeated for the last five lines. Finally, erase the match long and replace it with a match all. Reconnect the points and lines. This creates a line mesh in which lines are created between all points in both lists.